Hey guys, so um, today I kind of wanted to talk about Soul Pores lighting plugin. So um, this is an amazing plugin if you're parallax mapping, um, which I'm sure most of you are if you're following me because that's pretty much all I talk about. Um, but it's just really good in general because it doesn't really have any other dependencies. So you don't have to have a day night system set up. You don't have to have a big black box around the perimeter of your map and set the coordinates for the light itself. It's just literally light sources. So um, this is an example of what it can do. Number one and number two. Um, so these are flickering lights. I set the opacity pretty low. Um, the color is obviously pretty warm. Um, so I'm going to switch to the editor and show you how I got that. Okay, so um, in the editor, if you click on this event, so I have my, it's, a, it's attached to my sprite just to keep it simple. Um, so it's a parallel event, control switches is on. So it'll turn the switch on automatically when the person enters the map or is on the map. Um, and then comment is how you actually pull your plugin command. So the plugin command is light, which is for a classic light. So classic light just basically means um, you're not setting custom coordinates and a custom opacity for it, basically. Um, number one is the switch that's related to, so I put it on switch number one, which is lights, and then you have your R, G, B, and gray. So red is highest, um, green is middle ground, just to make it a little bit more orange, blue is pretty much um, non-existent, and then gray is kind of in the middle, just to dim the color a little bit. True is for flickering, so in the editor, you probably saw that the light was flickering around and looking real cute. Um, that's what creates that. And then C is the level of zoom. So um, if I was to do a um, C zoom versus an A zoom, and I'll kind of show you, this is a C. Um, and then in a second, I'll show you what an A zoom look like, uh, looks like. So Give me one second. I'm gonna to switch to another map and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so if you look at this map, you'll see here, here, and here, and also here and here, that I have still um, flickering light sources right here and here, and then these three are ambient, so they don't flicker. Um, the only difference is that you can't really tell because they're pretty small. Um, you can see like a really minor difference between the two. But anyways, so this is an A zoom. And for me, I custom set the zoom to be 0.5 rather than one so that the glow itself was really, really small just so it looks a little bit more natural. Um, and we'll switch back to the editor and I'll show you how that looks. So once again, it's super, super easy. Um, the plugin command is the same. So I set it to a parallel event. There's no sprite here. Um, Control switch one is the one I'm going to use for the, pretty much the entire game, unless um, I have like a special map where I don't want to have lights on them. Um, and then the the plugin command, which you put in the comments, is the same pretty much. So light one, which is the switch, red, green, blue, and gray. Um, this time it's like an emerald light, so there was no red, lots of green, a little bit of blue, and then some gray to kind of tone it down. Um, False, so instead of it being true, it's false, which means that the light won't flicker. And then the zoom mode is A. So if, um, oh my goodness, why am I having a stroke? <laughs> if you're looking to create custom commands for your lighting, that's 100% possible. Um, I'm gonna go in here and kind of show you what that looks like. Okay, so a custom, plugin command for if you want to change pretty much everything looks like this. So instead of light, the call is custom. The switch is, it would still be one. So I'm just gonna change it to one. This is the name of the image. So if your image is named light two, that would be the image name. This is X and this is Y. So that determines where they're sitting on the event. We still have red, green, blue, and gray. Um, true is for flicker. This is for zoom, so the two basically determines um, the, the size of the light. This is the blend mode, and in this, um, with this plugin, you can do add, subtract, or screen. Um, so that's really cool. Screen is a really useful blend mode in Photoshop, so maybe I'll try that out one day. <laughs> um, and then 15 is the opacity, but I don't know why I put that. So your opacity would be like 
whatever you want. I'd probably do 80. That's like still pretty bright. Cool. So you can see the difference between the two. So a custom plugin command gives you control over literally everything. And if you, um, really the only time you would need to use this is if you weren't able to set your um, plugin commands in here properly, or if you had exhausted um, your scales and like you want to do something completely different. So if you're using classic, this is kind of where you'd go. You can see your default scales. So A, um, oops, A is originally set to one, but I changed it to 0.5 to keep it like a little bit smaller. Um, right now I'm only using A and C in my game, so it's pretty easy. Um, C is four, so four times the size of the image. And then we have opacity and flicker. Flicker is regularly 20. I've set it to 10 just so it's a little bit slower. Opacity is 40. Um, I think 40 is good. Anything higher looks a little bit crazy in my opinion, um, at least for me. You have X and Y coordinates, so where they sit in relation to where you put them. And this is probably going to be something you want to play with. So X is horizontal, obviously, and then Y is up and down. Um, if you notice that something's sitting a little bit weird, then just change it. So originally, I think with this plugin command for C, for example, he had Y, I'm sorry, he had Y at like 280 maybe, which basically made it sit a little bit higher um, than the event. And it looked just really weird. So I changed it to be even so that when you actually, um, when you actually go into the game, this is not what I wanted to show you. Here, I'll show you this. <laughs> so when you actually go into the game, um, the flame is sitting kind of evenly on the event. So you can see that if I circle it, um, there's equal amounts of lights on all sides. So that's just what that does. It makes it sit completely centered in the event. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I don't think there's anything else I need to cover. Um, but honestly, if there's anything else that I need to answer, it'll be included in the help file um, below. So with the link that's included, it, he has the plugin, he has the actual image that you can use for the light, and then he has the um, help file, which kind of goes over all the plugin commands, what you're capable of doing, and then some of the color combinations that he used um, and pictures of what they look like. Um, if you guys have any further questions, though, feel free to reach out. I will talk to you guys all soon. Bye.